Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Shana Searcy and I'm so excited to test some products out with you today. So this is a little different where um, we're going to be looking at two different kinds of sketchbooks or watercolor journals that um, I purchased online that are not the, <clears throat> excuse me, that are not Bao Hong. Bao Hong is the one I typically use, but they're harder and harder to get in the cold press. So this is my Bao Hong sketchbook, my watercolor journal. 100% cotton, 140 pound cold press. This is what you see in most of my videos um, recently. Uh, and this is my favorite. I still have another one uh, to go through. So I'm sitting pretty and okay for now, but I know other folks have been trying to get those and they can't because they've been out of stock and I don't know when they're gonna come back in stock. Um, so I ordered two other kinds where they are 100% cotton paper. So that's what I was looking for. 100% cotton paper in a watercolor journal that might be similar or the same to the Baohang watercolor journal. Um, so I purchased two. Um, this one is a Tumorta 100% um, cotton paper. Now I had a Tumorta that I started this series with, this one. Um, this one was 25% cotton and this one did okay. I would recommend this, um, especially to those who uh, are, are brand new and really just starting out. Um, this is a good uh, sketchbook. This is better than uh, any of the other 25% cotton things that I've used, and it's definitely better than um, wood pulp or cellulose paper. So I would recommend this 25% cotton one for sure, and I'll and that is linked in um, the description of this video, as well as these two. So these are both 100% cotton. So this is Tumorta, and let's do that one first. Um, and you can see they're slightly different in size. So this one is, I think, an eight and a half by five and a half, where this one is only a seven and a half by five and a half, so a little bit smaller um, with the 100% cotton. Um, this has 24 sheets in it, or 48 pages, because you can paint on both front and back. And it was about $18, 100% um, cotton, 140 pound cold press paper. So to me, that is still a pretty good deal. Um, I would definitely invest in something with those um, specs on it. So the paper itself, uh, looking at the paper, so I already painted just one little painting in here um, on it, uh, and I really liked it actually. It was very comparable to Bao Hong. It has a little less tooth to it. It's not as, um, but very slightly not as grip, um, toothy or grippy textured, um, but I will talk about the uh, other brand that I got um, momentarily. So this one I really like. The one side is slightly toothier than the other, um, which happens in most uh, watercolor papers, um, but they're both great. The, it's a very nice thickness. It paints really well. So let's paint something on this. Let's just do something with lots of water because that's the biggest test is can we get water in here and not really ruin our pages. So let's just do something a little abstract. We'll just do a fun little like we did in our a few paintings ago. Maybe it was the last one or two paintings ago. Let's just do something with lots of paint and lots of water. Or here, we'll do something that's like reminiscent of a sunrise. And lots of yellow in here. So we're just blending two colors together. Blends beautifully and it's holding the water really nicely. And I'm not seeing lots of breakdown or buckling yet. I mean, you're always gonna get a little buckling. That's why we love our clips. Our clips hold things in place. But things are drying nice and evenly. I'm able to do a couple of layers here. But overall, like 
feeling how it feels, you know, when you've used a lot of different papers. I really like this so far. Um, I like the tooth. It's a little wide in some, that might not make sense to anybody, but <laughs> meaning the little dimples or divots in the tooth are a little wider than some other papers you might use. All right, so let's let that dry and then we can paint something on top of it later, but looking like kind of like a sunrisey type background, but it holds water really well. It's, you know, bowing a little bit, but nothing crazy or more than I would expect from my Baohong journal or any other 100% cotton paper. Um, I highly recommend people comment on these all the time, how clever it is for these clips. But yes, these are common uh, to use these little binder clips. You can get them in Staples or online. Um, and they do a great job holding things in place when you want them to be held in place in your journal. Um, so let's let that dry and then we will test out the other one and then we'll see which one we prefer. Um, but again, this is, of course, I covered up the page with all of the stats. So this, and I'll put a link to this in the description, to more to seven and a half by five, 140 pound cold press, 24 sheets or 48 pages if you paint front and back, $18, so $17.99 and it is 100% cotton paper, which is hard to, harder to find, especially at a reasonable price um, in a journal. When making journals, a lot of companies just go to the cheaper paper, either 25% cotton or cellulose. So, okay, let's move that one to the side. Now, I'm gonna try to pronounce this one. Um, it's a very popular brand, but, uh, Hedemule, it's German. Um, this is 100% cotton. This is only four by five and a half, so quite a bit smaller than the journal size I'm used to painting in, so you can see the difference in size, but it's a cute little pocket journal, about the same price, so about $17.99, $17 even for this one, versus the slightly larger one, um, this one, the Tumorta, which you can see is just a tiny bit smaller than my bigger um, Bao Hong. Um, so this one is quite a bit smaller for the same price. Again, 100% cotton paper, 140 pound cold press. It's actually not 140 pound. I looked it up again. It's 250 GSM, which is slightly less. So 140 pound is 300 GSM, but you really can't tell. Um, so the pages are maybe seem slightly thinner but you really can't tell. I wouldn't worry about that too much. It is cold press. There are 30 sheets or 60 pages. So more pages in this one, um, but slightly smaller size. Um, it's an A6 size, which is about four by five and a half. Uh, okay, so let's get, I did start painting in this one a little bit as well. So the biggest difference I noticed in this one versus the other one, is that the tooth is very fine in this one. It's bordering on hot press for me. Um, it says it's cold press. It does have a little bit of texture to it, but it's very close to a hot press for me. It's a, a very um, low tooth or low texture. And I will say, like I said in the other one, one side is more textured than the other. So this side, it would be my preferred side. It has a little bit more texture. The other side is basically hot press for me. Um, it's very smooth. So not, I'm not a big fan of that, but that doesn't mean other people won't really love that um, to have something that's like almost hot press and cold press in the same journal. Um, so yeah, and I can tell in my paintings, they're much, they just behave a little bit differently, especially with lots of water. Um, on, on a hot press, you don't need as much water. And if you paint with a lot of water, it might be troublesome for you. Uh, okay, so let's paint something similar or the same. Let me get out another binder clip. I have a whole drawer of these because, you know, in different sizes, these little mini green ones. 
and slightly larger medium orange ones and then I got the big pink ones. All right, so let's do the same thing in this one. Take the same colors. So I can already see it doesn't, I'm painting on the slightly smoother side, I think. Um, and I can definitely tell it doesn't like grip the paint as well. It glides across the page a little bit easier, which for some can be awesome. Let's do some yellow down here. But the paper itself is holding up nicely to lots of paint and lots of water, or I imagine it's going to. You can, you can kind of tell once you first put paint to paper how well it's going to do. So again, still doing a nice job of carrying the water, absorbing the water evenly. No major buckling, no more than you would expect. I'm gonna lift some, I didn't lift in the last one, but it lifts nicely. I suspect the other one would have lifted nicely as well. All right, so yeah, so it holds up well to water. Um, and uh, not a lot of buckling at all. Um, not a lot of deterioration of the surface of the paper. A little bit. I am noticing a little puckering um, or a little speckling from the sizing. Uh, kind of a little bit, huh? From the rubbing back and forth. We'll see how that looks when it dries. Um, and then we will come back and kind of compare the two and maybe do a little uh, painting on top of these little sunrises, okay? Uh, so let's pause here and then we'll come back when they're dry. All right, we're back. They're both dry. They both did a great job. Um, so this one definitely has, and I can see in the, I don't know that you can see this on the video, but this one definitely has a little more texture in the tooth there. And this one is smoother. They both uh, held up great to water. This one did get a little more buckling than this in the drying process. So as it was drying, this one got a little bit of buckle, but as it settled and dried completely, they're both pretty flat um, in terms of their buckling. Um, yeah, they both held up some nice bright colors uh, and lift. this one lifted well. I didn't test this one, but overall I would be really happy with either of these and I feel like they would be very comparable to the Baohong. Baohong definitely has the most tooth, has a really nice textured surface, which I love. Um, so I will still, if I can find this one, definitely get this one. But if I can't get it anymore, my pick would probably be the Tumorta uh, because of the surface. But if, if I had this one or someone gave me this one or if it was my only option, I would be really happy with this, um, the Hennemule book. I would probably buy it larger, which would cost a little bit more. So 17 17 the Baohong is right around 20 uh, like $22 for that larger size. So this, I haven't looked for it, but would probably be a little bit more expensive. It's a big name brand. Um, you know, they're able to charge a little more. Um, and people where Tumorta I think is a little lesser known. So they have to keep the price a little low. I don't know. I'm speculating. Um, so anyway, I would be happy with either of these. I'm going to link them both in the description. If people are really looking for a journal and want 100% cotton, I would recommend both of these. If you want a little bit cheaper, um, the Tumorta 25% cotton was great to me. It worked really well um, at the beginning of this. Definitely behaves a little bit differently than the 100% cotton. has a lot more tooth to it, but overall worked really well, painted all these lovely things in it. So I can't complain too much. Um, but yeah, so those would be my recommendations. They'll all be linked in the description. 
Thank you so much for following along with this demonstration. I'm going to go ahead and paint some thing on these um, and I'll just do that sped up with not a lot of talking just so you can kind of see what I would paint on top of these. All right. Thanks y'all. Uh, don't forget to check out the description, uh, like, and follow, uh, share this with a friend who you think might want this information as well. And don't forget to, what are you not going to forget to, Oh, come back for our next watercolor journal, uh, video. This one isn't a watercolor journal, but a product review, but we'll be doing another watercolor journal page very soon. All right. Take care y'all. Happy painting.